I think they all had different personalities. I think Johannes was the young guy at the time. Um, so he was kind of following what was going on. Chris seemed like a uh, uh, really technical guy who was uh, kind of unflappable and, 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 you know, was always trying to work through the problems. In fact, I brought this with me. I'll show this. After the film came out, Chris was able to get this DMX drum machine for me <laughs> from Oberheim at a very good price. I remember that, <laughs> which I still have. This thing was rather large. It's got wood on the sides, and it's like an app in a in a smartphone right now. But um, thank you, Chris. And then Edgar was took uh, you know the brunt of the responsibility on his back. I think it, it, when the chips were down, it was up to him to keep things going and make sure it happened and make sure it happened right. And I think he he felt the most pressure of. Uh, besides me, the two of us. But they were very collaborative. You know, they allowed not only all my input, but physically they invited us in, you know, whether it was to help help in the mix and and, and the little piece that I wrote for them, uh, very little, tiny, minuscule. Um, but, uh, and, and having, welcoming me in to play that for them. So it was, it was, it was a good spirit. There was a good spirit in the room.